Hi everyone and welcome back to Ace and Science Coaching on Demand. I'm Rebecca and today we're going to be working through some st different defensive movements and different controls and distributions of the ball. So we're just going to do a little bit of a receiving passing pattern where you're out to like defend on then you're dropping back off to receive the ball and play. So when we're doing this, we're up nice and quickly to press that attacker or the cone here. So we're up fast and then we're dropping back off nice quick feet and then we're focused on our distribution. So here it could be maybe a center back up to press a striker and then we're playing into our other center back or full back. Really focus on having good passing technique and making sure that we're scanning while we're doing this as well. Because as a defender, when we win the ball back for our team, it's really important that the next pass is successful. The next little sequence we're going to do is a passing pattern and working on our distribution. So you're going to have a cone, you're going to move back, your partner's going to throw the ball and call a different part of your body to control the ball with and play it back. If they call head, you're just doing a firm header back to their hands. So same here, we start off by pressing forward quickly and then dropping back off, but now we're controlling it with different parts of our body. So if it comes to our foot, can we try and get the ball down with our foot and then play it back? If it's coming to our head, can we make sure that we're getting a nice strong header, watch keeping our eyes on the ball and playing it back. When we're doing these movements, making sure that we're getting the ball under control before we play it back. So can we take a touch, get it under and then play it nicely back into our partner. If we're doing a header, can we make sure that we are really using our body so we're getting our arms up and we're using our full power to get behind that ball. Make sure whoever's throwing you the ball that they're challenging you and varying the areas that you need to control the ball with. They can also specify whether it needs to be your left or right foot as well. What we're going to go through is a different set of combination passes and headers of the ball that defenders might use within the game. Dad and I will show you how it works and then I'll break it down slowly for you later as well. Okay, so to do it slowly, we start off right pass, move around, left pass, then drop off to do a header, then we're up to touch and back, header again, then we're running forward, shield the ball, drop off, right foot, left foot, step in and intercept. A ball. So we start off with two short little passes either side of our attacker, trying to use our right and left foot, then we're dropping off like we to receive a high ball, header up to press a defender, dropping off, another header, and then we're stepping in using our body to shield the ball, and then we've got another two quick little passes, and then we're stepping in to intercept a ball that may be coming from maybe a midfield of the other team into their striker. Keep repeating this pattern, really focusing on having good technique. And when we're up to header, we're watching that ball, keeping our eye on it. Again, it's lots of sharp, fast movements. So can we get in nice and quick? Here, use your, making sure we're using our body to shield and then quick feet again. When we're doing this, can we also look to keep scanning and being aware of what's around us? Making sure we're practicing our scanning and all drills is really important so then when we go into the game, we know what's going on around us and when we win the ball back for our team, our decision making is nice and fast. Thanks for watching today guys, hope you enjoyed that and remember to keep practicing lots at home and really get those repetitions in and focusing on having good technique at all times. See you next time.